Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exosius content. Today's video we're going to discuss Chapter 13, Episode 11, How to Get Awakened Zeon. Before that, if you want to see more Exosius content, please hit the subscribe button down below. So here we go guys. Um, it took me around 2 hours just to be able to finish the stage. So um, I tried a couple of formations in terms of what is effective. I started out using Bathory, Bloom, and I think it was Lepin. Then Tantalo and uh, Dorka. I think that, that was the first team that I tried out. Um, it didn't work because first and foremost, uh, I needed uh, Nullify Heal eventually, even though it they had a lot of firepower within that team. Um, I decided to go with FC Ramji because I think he's the only one who has nullified heal um, in the game so far. So I put him in. I replaced FC Lepin uh, in place of him. Then the next one that I replaced was... FC Ulum. So FC Ulum was replaced by Garf because I needed more, more firepower. And um, I think Ulum was just there to break Guardian Stone. So I added um, FC Jinai to that one together with FC Tantalo. Because this stage is mostly green, green uh garden green garden stones and uh, uh sorry nature garden stones and machine garden stones so for your for your nature garden stones you have their tantalo and you have Janai to break those while for your machine you have dorka to break those so please also be sure before you you tackle this stage that you elementally enhance them so we're done with uh, wave one so wave two is basically um where it gets tricky so as you can see dorka here i did not use her uh, s1 skill because i was expecting a lot of counters um because if you do your s1 uh during the opening of wave two you will you will you know dorka will die um all of them will counter her and uh, you won't, you, she won't be able to survive. So what I did was just pick off uh, uh, at least one that has a machine garden stone. Then I'd wait for Tantalo and Jinai's turn to break them before I perform AOE. So as you can see, I'm already with Jinai. So Jinai will will attack with her S2. By this time, I was all already doing manual. Um, wave one, I did a autoplay, but for for this one, I think you should for wave two you should do a manual play. So next would be Tantalo. So again, destroy all Garden Stones. Then the next would be Dorka. So Dorka would can at, can at this stage use her S1 already because most of the back guys are already um, broken and. After she attacks this one, the other two on the front will also be broken. So all of them are broken, uh, except one. But uh, let's wait for her damage over time. So by this time, uh, Ramji can already perform his AoE as well. So for Ramji, you ha also have to make sure that he is also alive because you need him in Wave 3. So he's the most important person in the team because... <laughs> He will be able to cast Nullify Heal uh, to all of the enemies in Wave 3. So for Wave 2, he doesn't serve any purpose that much, but he has to survive. So I'm just cleaning up this uh, um, this uh, enemy and, and what's left of them. So we're getting ready for Wave 3. So again, the strategy for Wave 3 will evolve on number one uh ramji being able to survive uh let's wait for this to be to to, to finish for wave two 
Um, just a couple of more attacks from Jinai. Just and Garf. Okay, so we proceed to wave three. I really like Tantalo. Um, he is pretty much a good all around defensive character. So, here now, um, just be careful when you start wave three on who Dorka attacks because usually when Dorka attacks, uh, what I mean is the, the other Dorka on, on the other side. If she attacks Ramji first, then it's all over. But for, for this one, we're lucky that uh, Ramji is still alive. So Ramji applies his Notify Heal, which again, at the beginning of, of this one, I, I told you guys that be careful of Dorka's heal because it it will really give you a headache in terms of uh, killing killing the front row enemies. So right now with Nullify Heal in place, um, this is pretty much a good game. Um, don't have to do that much, just AOE them. Uh, what I mean is the front row. Try to break them with Jinai and Tantalo. Then you'll have an easy time um, clearing them. Uh, as you can see, their, their health speeds up in terms of it, it is decrease if they have nullify heal so i'm going to finish this up with dorka and um once you clear the first row dorka is pretty much very i, I won't call it easy i would say very manageable because you have hard strike from tantalo so again Tantalo's role here is also to provide heart strike. Uh, I don't think if you if you don't have if you don't have heart strike, you'll have a a longer time finishing her off. So we we're down to one front uh, front row enemy. So Tantalo's going to finish him off. So this is where it gets a little bit messy because I had a funny moment here. Uh, when I was about to to kill Dorka, um, her health kept creeping up because the Nullify heal disappeared already and at this time, Ramji is already dead. So I had, <laughs> I was actually kind of nervous if, if, I'm, if I can still kill Dorka at this point. But um, let's take a look if uh, how, how things happen. So if you can see, uh, Nullify Heal, I think, is still there. Up until I think Dorka was killed by Dorka. My Dorka was killed. So I'm excited to show it to you guys because it was I was not sure if, if I'm going to kill her at the end. Um, I was hoping that... Uh, my damage was enough to kill her. So attack with Garf. I usually attack with Garf for with her S1 for a single for a, a more uh, or a higher damage output versus her S2. For Junai, I would usually use my S2 for. Okay, so we're here. So if you can see, Dorka's the enemy Dorka is is about to die, but she actually kills my own dorka wait and see so at this point at this point you will see that she's gaining life already see so again my my tip for you guys is try to deal as much damage as possible see she's gaining life and the nullify heal is no longer in in, in check so that is a big headache because I was afraid that I would kill her at this point. So, but uh, fortunately, Tantalo saved me. Not that one, but his next attack. So I was still trying to look for a solution. Even Garf's S, S1 didn't, didn't do the trick. Eventually, I had to use Tantalo's S2. So here it is, just to kill her. 
I was not sure that she was gonna die at this point, but I was happy that I, you know, I killed her eventually. So this is where you get Zeon. So this is these are just cutscenes, guys, in his conversation with uh, with Dorka. So I will also put in um, the cutscene for um, chapter. 13 episode 12 because for chapter oh, sorry for episode 12 you won't have any fight scenes there so i'll try to i'll try to include it in this video enjoy guys If you have any comments suggestions or if you have any things to clarify just hit me up in the comment section of this video anyway that concludes my video guys so see you in the next video pardon out